Morning guys, okay, so right now I have some tips for the video makers using the iPhone app Real Director. So if you're not interested in um, cinematography or anything like that, then just cover up your ears right now. Okay, first off, if you import your first clip being 4.3, then the rest of the project of that video is going to be 4.3, as an example of yesterday's vlog. And then if you record a video in 16.9 after that on the YouTube page, there'll be bar, bar on the side, not only that, but there'll be bar, bar on the top and the bottom. Which which means it'll be pretty much letterbox. Also, for some reason, I rendered mine in 4.3 by accident, and now it's upside down. I don't know why, but the video clip, um, I'm gonna show it to you right now. Yeah, the video's upside down. I'm not really sure what's up with that, but, uh, let's not do that again. So, I'm gonna start each, uh, individual clip, I'm gonna start each vlog with a 16.9 clip, and then the next, then, like, I'll have... I'll probably have like one or two, four, three clips um, a day because I'll be using that as my tripod, just having my iPhone sit here. And then, um, so that's basically my plan. Hopefully, it shouldn't be in four, three, or um, upside down anymore. Let's just hope for the best. Anyway, back to weather. You can unplug your ears now, it's fine. So, it's raining again. Holy crap, who cares? Um, summer 2010 slash 11. For Queensland is pretty miserable. Basically, it's just flooding and um, it's either floods or rain. Luckily, we're not in floods, but it might get that way because it seems to be raining 24/7 now. Um, okay, so I'll see you in like one second within the magic of editing. This whole situation with the ratio and upside downness is starting to weird me out. Look at this. So here is the raw. Um, video clip that I upload to YouTube so it's here it's upside down it's uh, completely 180 degrees flipped whoop, right all upside down and then if I go to YouTube then it's completely normal what's up with that did did YouTube detect the fact that the video was completely screwed and then it just made it normal again that's weird. Anyway, it's still in letterbox. It's still in 49. There's nothing I can do to change that. Um, and the highest resolution you can get for yesterday's vlog was 480p. Um, so I can't really change that. I'm sorry about that. I will. Uh, I'll. I won't do that again. That was a mistake. Um, but 480p, it isn't that bad, you know. But like, if you bitch about. 480, then maybe I'll just make all my videos like 240. How about that? Yeah. Now you think that 480 is good. Now 480 looks like 1080. How about 1290 or 2000? Wait. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, a thought just came to me. Don't worry, I'm using the front facing camera right now. So the 4 the four three issue, um, that's natural. But a thought just came to me. It, I, I'm pretty sure there's nothing left to invent. I mean, think about it. Pretty, people have pretty much invented everything that there is to think of. I mean, when people start releasing stuff like the Stairmaster, the Snuggy, the Shake Weight, I'm pretty sure you're running out of ideas pretty quickly. And thinking that I have everything that I'll ever want right here in front of me on my iPhone, like anything that, like everything, is on my iPhone. Like, think about it. It, it does. It, it's a telecommunications device, um, it plays music, it plays videos, it plays games, and pretty good games too. Like yesterday I got, um, I got, uh, one of the Gangstar series on, it's, it's a lot like Grand Theft Auto. I, I couldn't find any differences, to be honest, apart from the logo. Uh, I thought it was great. Um, so basically anything that anybody wants is on a cell phone, then... There's nothing left to invent. Like, uh, let's see, something that no one can invent anymore. Okay, an umbrella. You see, you can't invent umbrellas anymore because, like, people have already un invented them. I mean, they're great. Look at these. So what you do is they just pop out like this, and then you have an umbrella. Like, look at that. Isn't that genius? Except people say, oh, I wish I hadn't invented an umbrella because now I can't invent anything because I'm useless. And look, it also works as a light diffuser. You see, now it diffuses it, but uh, I've already I've already got a, a diffuser because it's uh, it's rainy. But if I wanted, I could get a white umbrella, 
and get a light and face it onto it and then psh, and the light goes on onto my um my subject of film and then I film it and it's easy to put it down too um so you just flip this switch it just goes down like that okay um so what did we do? What did we learn on the vlog today? We played with umbrellas. We talked about the shake weight. We um, what what else is there? There's dinosaurs. We haven't we haven't talked about dinosaurs today in the vlog. How are dinosaurs? Are they dead yet? Yeah, I think they're extinct, right? Bastards. It's probably the Japanese, isn't it? All right. I will see you in like two seconds. Okay, so right now my mum wants to do the washing up, and she's going to wash my sheets and all that, and I don't, whoa, I just tripped over there. I don't know if this works for anybody else, I don't know if anybody else does this, I just might be lame, I don't know. But when I'm like ripping off the sheets and that, it just, it, it I just enjoy doing it because it feels like I'm smashing stuff, you know, just like, oh, <laughs> I find these things to be cooly because um, what they are is the American detachable wide angle and macro lens for the Apple iPhone 4 by Apple Apple. See what it is is there's like there's a magnetic ring um, that like attaches to the uh, the camera thing on the iPhone, and then what you do is you just slip this thing on. And, um, I don't know how it works. It's a macro and it's a wide-angle lens. Those two are, like, opposites to me, I think. But it, it works. And it's, um, 20 bucks, too, which is pretty good for a an actual good lens. And I think that'd be cool to have a lens for the iPhone, like a wide-angle lens. So then, like, it'll look good. Like, hey, guys, wide-angle. Like that. I just really hurt my back. But, um, <laughs> I think I'm... I'm gonna buy one of these. I like them. So, uh, let's see. For only five left in stocks. Wanted delivered. Wanted delivered Tuesday, January eleventh. But that's today. Wait, what? Oh no, never mind. Wait, that's tomorrow. What? That's that's inaccurate. <laughs> oh, okay. That's um seventy five dollars shipping. Okay. We're not gonna. We're not gonna do the one day shipping, guys. All right. Well, I'm not even sure if they're gonna ship anything in this weather. Look at this. Oh, time for a fancy macro shot. Oh. I can't get it to focus on the drops of rain. Chocolate rain. Some can't get it to focus on the rain. Chocolate rain. Liquid rain. So I decided to get this one instead. The GSI Super Quality Detachable Fisheye Lens for the iPhone 3G, 3GS, 4G. Turn your iPhone into a super and high end camera product. I decided to get this mainly because it's easier. Um, before there was an adhesive thing that stuck onto the lens just like that and it covered up the flash, the LED flash. You know how good the flash is on the iPhone. You see and now like you can see a lot better that's with the flash on now if I turn it off then that's how light it really is but yeah this one it is actually comes with a case and then like the you just attach the lens to the case and you just snap the case onto your phone and then it just works like that and I really like that um like and it comes with wait uh, free super saver shipping you know you're a super saver if something's free that's a pretty good saying, right? It's almost as good as a saying. Like, man who lives in glass house should buy some bloody good shower curtains. Because uh, your neighbours um, might be... What was that? Did you hear that? That was like this really loud beeping noise. Oh, good. A storm. Look at our... Deck. It is soaked. It looks way more wet than like it does on the camera. Anyway, you guys want to see something fun? So this is an antique fridge from 1959. 
Okay. So, doesn't have the regular handle, it has one of the, these old ones. So we open it. Now, okay. Okay. Back, back then. Okay. I'm gonna let you guys know this. Back then people didn't know that you should refrigerate your food. So they had a tiny little freezer, like around this big. I can show you the freezer now. And somehow the Pepsi exploded. I didn't put the Pepsi in there. I don't know how it got in there. I mean, here is one Pepsi there. And then I'll just adjust the focus to over there. But it looks like it's just like really bad snow. Except it's like, it's ice. It's like pure cold. Except look, like, it, it ex... Get the can. Look, the top of it just totally blew off. How does that even happen? Oh my god. Who put these in there anyway? Who thought... And look at that. See, look, the bottom of, of this one just t totally exploded off too. God, how does these even happen? You see, and then it go, it went drip, drip, drip all, all over my dad's beer. He's not going to be happy about that. He's going to blame me for putting it in there, even though I didn't put it in there. Goes down. Look at that bloody mess. Are you serious? How does this even happen? How does this just? How does it just explode? It's on the roof. How is it on the roof? And it's the door. How, how does this even happen? Like, the pressure isn't that bad, right? It's just, maybe this fridge got struck by lightning. Maybe that's what happened. You know, maybe, um... I don't even know any jokes to say about this. This is just purely amazing. I reckon. Send this to the Discovery Catch. Send... Mm. Send this to the... Send this to the Discovery Channel, kids. That's what I meant to say, but I messed up. Here's a, um, I get 50 extra stupid points for me, alright? So, um, I went up to press the button here on the dunny, and there were two, um, toilet paper rolls up here. So I, like, nudge one, and the two others just go domino effect, um, in there. And, uh... So, I'm, cl I'm clever, aren't I? <laughs> Have you ever used a bit too much toilet paper? I think I went a bit overboard right now. You want to see what you guys look like now? That's what you look like to me. You are a phone. You are a phone. Okay, so remember the crappy dripping light? Well, that made me... Um, have around this much light, this, uh, this amount of light that's going through on the camera that's around accurate. Uh, the only light it's coming from is the crappy, um, you know, weather. Now, let's go over and have a look at the situation we've got with the exploding cans. Huh. Let's see if I can still pop the tab. Ow! That hurts. Okay. <laughs> Just blast it open. Now the funny thing about this one is the bottom is like popped. <laughs> Look at that. Hello Tom. Yes, I'm standing here in the rubble of um of the scene of the horrific storm tornado thing that's gone from Toowoomba, Queensland, Australia. As you see, we've got, uh, we've got massive damages around, uh, we've, we've got around $30,000 worth of repairs of, uh, property damage that we've got in our hands here. We hope that it will be, uh, we'll be fixing this up soon. Uh, make sure to join the 7 o'clock news tomorrow night.